Hey guys, welcome. The mysteries for the coming Alpha 4.1.1 has been revealing day by day, especially about the turrets and flight blades. Yesterday, with the new 4.1.1 PTU patch, we find out that we actually have different turrets that we can switch with our ships now. For example, the RSI Scorpius missile turrets or the Nova Tank Ballistic Turret. You can change the main gun with a Nova Tank. So turrets, comma, and flight blades. We also know more about what CIG mean by flight blades. Now, let's take a look at these flight blades. This is a ship performance viewer website. If you click right here, item, and then system, and then find flight controllers. Click this and it will take you to this page. And this page will tell you what kind of flight blades we have. So from this drop down menu, we know there are two types or you can say three types of flight blades. One is base, which is already installed on your ship. And currently that base flight blade is locked for many ships. Second is a better handling. Third one is a better speed. If you click better handling, you can see there's uh, all these ships with better handling. If you click better speed, you see all these ships with better speed. So until right now, this latest PTU patch, only these ships can be equipped with either better handling or better speed flight blades. What are these ships? Number one, Avengers. Both Avenger Stalker, Avenger Titan, and Avenger Warlock. Number two, Aegis Hammerhead. Number three, The Redeemer. Number four, Anvil Arrow. Number five, Pisces, Pisces Expedition, and the Pisces Medical. Number six, Argo MPUV. Number seven, Scorpius Antares, the base Scorpius. So that's seven ships or seven ships or variant. And then if you go back to all and then organize this from the base section, you can also find that the Aegis Gladius, this is not categorized as the speed or handling blade, but the Gladius does have a handling, HND and SPD. So handling and speed. So that's ship number eight, the Aegis Gladius. Scroll down, you also find this Aegis Vanguard MM322. And then scroll down, you also have the Hornet MM322. But look at these specs. They are exactly the same. So I don't think this enhances anything. Maybe this is just a base blade, just a blade number. Now let's take a detailed look at these upgrades. So let's choose the Gladius. First is a handling blade. Now for the base Gladius, these specs are the base specs of the Gladius that you're flying in the current PU. If we are adding a handling blade to the Gladius in the next patch, what changed? SCM speed will be reduced from 225 to 216. 9 meters per second slower. Your maximum navigation speed will be reduced by 10 meters per second from 130 to 120 meters per second. Also, your SCM boost speed forward reduced from 520 to 510 and backwards also reduced. What's increased is the maneuverability, pitch, yaw, and roll. Pitch increased by one degree, yaw increased by two degrees, and roll increased by two degrees. So for the handling blade, you reduced your SEM and max navigation speed. You also sacrifice your SEM boost speed both forward and backwards just to gain one or two degrees of maneuverability. If you insert the speed blade to your Gladius, what you have is SEM speed increased from 225 to 233, 8 meters per second more and the navigation maximum speed increased by 20 meters per second from 1230 to 1250. And then your SEM boost speed forward increased by 10 from 520 to 530. Also backwards increased by 10 as well. But you sacrificed one degree of pitch, one degree of yaw, and two degrees of roll. So now the question is, which one is better? Of course, this is just talking on paper. 
We haven't tested in game yet, but which one is better? Is speed better or tiny improvement of maneuverability better? Next example, let's take a look at the Avenger Titan. First is the handling blade. SEM speed sacrifice 8 meters per second. At maximum navigation speed, you sacrifice 25 meters per second. And SEM boost speed forward, you sacrifice 10 meters per second. So is the backward. And you gain 1 degrees of pitch, 1 degree of yaw, and 2 degrees of roll. And for the speed blade, you will have to sacrifice 1 degree of pitch, 1 degree... Actually, yes, 1 degree of yaw, and 2 degrees of roll. And then you will increase your SEM speed by 8 meters per second. And maximum navigation speed, you increase 20 meters per second. And SEM boost speed, you increase 10. And backwards, also increased 10. So I feel like the pitch, yaw, and roll increase and decrease is not that much, only one degree. But the speed increase is relatively bigger increase, especially for the maximum navigation speed, you increase 20 meters per second. And also the SEM boost speed, you increase 10 meters per second, whether forward or backwards. Again, the question is, in a dogfight, is the increased boost speed better than the increased pitch, yaw, and roll? Now, let's look at another ship. MPUV. I don't know why this ship got upgraded. So the handling blade for the MPUV tractor will increase its pitch by 1 degree, yaw by 1 degree, and roll by 2 degrees. And then decrease the SEM speed by 10, maximum navigation speed by 20, and SEM boost speed, both forward and backwards, reduced by 10. So the speed blade for the MPUV will increase the SEM speed by 10, maximum navigation speed by 30, SEM boost speed forward and backwards increased by 10, and then pitch, yaw, and roll decreased by 1, 1, and 2 degrees per second. So in a dogfighting situation, well, who am I kidding? We do not dogfight with the MPUV tractor. Definitely not the handling blade for the ship, right? If anything, it's a speed blade for the MPUV. Unless you really want to dogfight with MPUV. Now, last ship. Let's do the Scorpius. Handling blade will decrease its SEM speed by 7 meters per second, maximum navigation by 20. And SEM boost speed forward and backwards. Oh, what? This is a typo right here. The backward. Speed is not 2,225, but it's uh, 225. So, SEM boost speed forward and backwards reduced by 10. And then pitch, yaw, and roll. And pitch increased by 1, yaw increased by 1, and roll increased by 3. Oh wait, no. It's decreased by 3. Yeah, the base and terrace is 145. And the better handling blade is 142 for the roll. This is another typo right here. So according to all the previous ship we've looked at, the pattern is very clear. So for the handling blade, you are decreasing the SM speed by around 7 to 10 meters per second. Decrease the maximum navigation speed by 20 to 30 meters per second. And decrease the SM boost speed forward and backward by 10 meters per second. And the increase in pitch, yaw, and roll is 1, 1, and 2 degrees per second. For the speed blade, you will increase your maximum navigation speed by 20 meters per second, your SEM speed by from 7 to 10 meters per second, and increase the SEM boost speed forward and backwards by 10 meters per second, and decrease the pitch, yaw, and roll by 1, 1, and 2 degrees per second. Now, which blade do you use for these? fighter ships.